All right. <clears throat> I am not actually as prepared as I would like to be, but um, we are we are out here. We are preparing still. All right. New Twitch profile picture? Yeah, it's the same one that I, I put on, um, on YouTube. Uh, the, the Twitch one's probably not gonna stay as... It's probably not gonna stay for too long. I'll probably replace it with one that's more Twitch-friendly. Um, but, yeah, it's the same one that I have on YouTube. For, for the new Doodle streams thing. I also replaced the Doodle Tones and the Suzy H accounts uh, profile pictures from this morning's stream. So, yeah. Uh, I've decided to opt into playing block game a little bit more again. Um, just because I don't really don't know what else I want to do right now. Define Twitch friendly. Um, because the current profile picture that I have is a little cluttered. And Twitch, you're going to see, like, smaller icons much more frequently than you would on YouTube. So, I want something a little bit more Twitch friendly. Uh, in the sense that it can shrink down to a, to a really small level like it is now. Uh and people will like see it on the sidebar and, and know what the fuck is going on. Because as it stands, the profile picture is not exactly friendly when shrunk down. So... So yeah, that's what I mean by Twitch friendly. It's just in the sense that it's not like... If you shrunk down my icon, you really can't tell what's going on. So, yeah. Also, hello, Nezyak. Oh. You guys aren't able to see the game yet. <laughs> Don't worry, you haven't missed anything. I just ran around for a little bit. explore more of the nether because I haven't quite gotten everything that I want out of the nether um, or I could go explore that cave but either way I don't I still don't have access to a consistent right click so I'm a little bit worried about that
out of magic. eventually get your name right one of these days. That day is apparently not today though. Oh hi! Darius has pronounced it's okay if you get it wrong a few times and used to it. I I'm just saying, I'll eventually get it right one of these days. The day is just not today. Uh, but I'll. Uh, I, I, I attempt it. An attempt was made. Okay. Well, I guess let's head back to the bastion. modded at the moment. Fun. I'm trying to think of where I want to go from here. Uh, probably that word. Actually, auto. idea where to go from here
Got a cobblestone igloo, yeah. Have I ever played Minecraft before? Oh no, I have been playing this game for... About a decade now. Over a decade now. The first video to reach 10,000 views on my channel was a video, like, pitting Minecraft and Roblox against each other. And that was, like, back in 2000... What, 11? 12? So, the short answer is yes. The short answer is I, I... I have played Minecraft before. In fact, uh... In fact, streaming Minecraft was how I got started streaming. I streamed Minecraft back in like 2010, 2011-ish. Have I embraced anarcho-natoism? What is that? Also, hello, Ephraim. We're gonna be losing a lot of cobble if we actually do die here, but it's just cobble, so it's not that big of a deal. Anarchy through NATO. Have I been on 2B2T? No, I've never, I never tried to join 2B2T. Mainly because I've always just been kind of like, unsure with whether or not I want to like, hack the game to hell and back. 2B2D is the oldest, uh, ongoing anarchy server on Minecraft. It is a, uh, it is a lawless land where everyone's just kind of allowed to just use- Well, not even just allowed, but encouraged to use hacked clients, uh, in order to survive. And I've never been one to really use hacked clients for, for Minecraft. I'll use mods, but I will not, like, hacked clients is a little bit of a- a different story. So I've always been kind of like I've I've never really played on 2B2T. Oh hey little guy. I don't know if you can jump out of lava or not, but you're gonna be in the way, so you know.
I'll bring the SEC into a golden age of left anarchist politics. Dude, I don't believe anarchy works, so good luck. I, I, I would not be swayed so easily. Because anarchy intrinsically does not work. Kinda jump out. I don't like that. What anarchy is it and who would it f and how would it function? No, it really doesn't. Because if you have any sort of order, then you no longer have anarchy. And without uh, without any sort of order, you what would wind up happening is people would kill each other with no repercussions. There would be no way to keep every there would be no way to keep the peace and it'd be everyone fending for themselves in the worst way. Like... Eventually, what would wind up happening is... is... the climate would get too much for people anyway. And there... and, and order would eventually come one way or another. Anarchy does not work. Period. Orwell and Orchomsky. It's not really going to convince me otherwise. Dude, I wound up in the worst fucking spot for another portal. Literally, the just the worst fucking spot for a fucking nether portal. referring to as a world without ruler or central authority, there might be institutions that will serve as a replacement for the need of such to keep order. You look like steampunk the diamond minecart. Do, do I? It's been a long time since I've seen for anything from from Dan TDM. Oh, 
without rulers, how do you actually enforce anything? There are ways to, of order in nature? I mean, I guess, but... When it comes to, like, law and, and governing, like... A, a civilization... There needs to be some form of, of, uh, of concrete, like, some sort of concrete order, which you're just not going to get from anarchy. Through creating a system where reasonable people outnumber unreasonable people. Again, I don't see how you're expecting to do that. I worry this combo is deteriorating. Oh, this combo had deteriorated the moment Otto and and uh, Ephraim came in to talk about uh, anarchy. So Minecraft, yeah. Hey, Master Shadow. Traditional moral values. More importantly, we have to promote general societal concern and less materialism in young people. But again, how are you going to enforce that? I'm just saying, you two came in and immediately started, and, and immediately kind of started talking politics. So I mean, I don't know what you expect me to 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 come to that conclusion with. Comic-Con. going further and further into the like the worst biome and it's just not I just don't see an end in sight
There's a stream timer in the Twitch app now, or have I just missed it forever? There's a. It's been there. Oh, right, that reminds me. Um. So. Uh, Crafty. Uh. Crafty made me aware of of something that I could add to the to the to the Twitch streams, uh, which I thought would be kind of cool. But I want to run it by you guys to see how you guys feel about it, or if I would just be wasting my time implementing it into the streams. Um. So, uh, cause, because it would be you guys that would be messing with it more so than I would. Um, but what if, what if I made little collectibles for streams? So there's this thing called stream loots that Crafty made me aware of. Um, and, uh, there is the, what you can do is you can, like, there's like a card base system? Where you can, uh, where you guys would randomly be able to, uh, to, to get cards that could, uh, kind of like, um, like, you, you know, uh, the point redemptions, right? It, it, it would be like point redemptions, but it would be a card system. Kind of like a, like a, like, almost like a gotcha system, almost. Sorta. Like, you, you would be able to, like, buy packs and get, like, certain collectible cards and stuff. Like, loot boxes. Yeah. I'm asking you guys because you guys would be the ones that would be interacting with it more than me. I just want to see how you guys feel. Like, if I, if I made, like, a... Like, a bunch of collectible cards for the streams, because I have, like, a whole character gallery. Like, 300 characters, and I could do something with that. Uh, plus I could make it to where, like, oh, you know, instead of, uh, with the point redemption, instead of bimbo tones for 30 minutes, it's bimbo tones for, like, the whole stream, you know? Stuff like that. Or maybe I could, um, I, I could, like, play a, a sound effect or something, you know? Whatever it would be, like, it would be like a, it would be like a gotcha mechanic. But I wanted to see how you guys felt, because you guys would be the ones interacting with it. Personally speaking, like, if, if this was, if, if, if I was in that position, considering how I feel about Gotcha, I'd probably be a little bit more against it, but if you guys are interested, as my viewers, I'm leaving it to you guys. personally have no interest in something like that, but that's just me. That's fair. <clears throat> but that's... I, uh, Crafty made me aware of that, and it does seem like it would be another area for me to get, like... It, it would... Yeah, it would, to, it would increase engagement, um, and it would be, like, a, an area to, like, get an extra sense of revenue, like, an extra source of revenue, because you would have to... You would have to, like, buy these packs. Um, like, th this is, like, a, j this is, like, an actual, like, way of supporting the streamer, is really what it comes down to. Um. If the goal is anything but maybe to make the number of people watching at once go up slightly, I don't think it's a good idea. Well, as I said, I'm asking, I'm asking my viewers, cause you get, cause it would be, it'd be you guys that would be using it. I would just be making the cards. But it's, it's basically a, just another, a, another area to, to donate to, to support the, the stream, to support, you know, me and what have you. Would you use Twitch points? Uh, not from what I'm looking at. From what I'm looking at is like it's an actual like buying thing. 
because on the uh, on the stream loot site it says high cut get 80% of each transaction 90% of partner so I I don't know fully fully but by the looks of it no so that's why I'm asking would you guys would my chat be interested in it that's that's where the that's where the kicker comes in because I don't think it's a point thing but they they work in the sense of like collectibles and point redemptions so there would be some that you probably would get that don't really do anything and are just collectibles, but then there would be others that would actually have me do something, like, as I said, bimbo tones for an entire stream. I prefer donating to support the streamer when I can. That's fair. I... That's why I'm asking. If you guys are not interested, I, I won't I won't bother with it. But I want to make sure, especially my regulars, because my regulars would probably be doing this the most frequently, or would be interacting with this the most frequently. I want to know what my regulars think, for sure. What do you guys, like, are you guys interested in something like that? Would you guys want to see that for the, the stream? I can see how some folks could be curious or even interested, though, so I'm not dismissive of the idea entirely. Yeah. Hmm. As I said, I figured I'd ask. Because at the end of the day, it would just be... You get a bunch of collectible cards, some of them will do or er, will have me do certain things. Like play a sound effect, or... Or change my avatar, or what have you. Do I need to make the decision now? Oh, no. I, I don't have to make the decision now. I just I have the site bookmarked, so I can always come back to it at another at a later date. It's just it's something that Crafty made me aware of a couple days ago. Actually, I think he made me aware of it. Was it yesterday? It might have been yesterday, actually, that he made me aware of it. So I don't know. I was wanting to see what you guys thought. If you guys would have been interested in something like that just be like a little gotcha mechanic that's just there. Me as someone who can't play gotcha games and stuff like that, I personally wouldn't want it if I was watching, but you guys are not me, so I want to see what you guys thought. What, like, I wanted to, to know what you guys thought. Alright, later, Walt. Cobblestone igloo, yeah. Well, considering where I'm at in the nether, I need some form of protection. Because these fuckers are going to get me even not careful. One card in four months at that time is it's 10 p.m. I don't know, maybe. As I said, some cards might not even do anything. I might just use my, my character gallery of like 300 to just kind of like... 
kind of just fill out the packs and stuff. So some of it will just be collectible stuff. Collectibles for the sake of it. A card that ends the stream if you're up to up, wait, uh, up way too late. Nah. Although, like a height, a hydrate card might be, might be something I do. Cause I'll have like a point redemption for hydrating and stuff like that. Although that does seem more like a point redemption, less of a, a card thing. I don't know, man. I've still got things to think about with it. Uh, but I wanted to see if you guys were even interested before I, like, actually do anything with it. Before I start thinking about, like, what the cards are going to do. You know? Why do these sound like NFTs? They're not. It's, a, it's as I said, it's more like a gotcha mechanic. So you get, like, collectible cards from, like, packs, and you can use them to... to do things on stream. They're not NFTs. They're... it's a... It, as I said, it's a gotcha mechanic. So if you don't like, say, Genshin or... or, uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, I think? Or... uh, Cookie Run... or... um... What's another really popular gotcha game? I don't know. Point is, is there's a lot of them, and if you're not interested in that, maybe maybe I don't have to. But I remember when Doodle did streams at six in the morning. Actually, for me, that was streams at five in the morning. And that was just because that was the time that my internet was at its peak. I didn't have to fight over the internet with my with my brothers during that time frame. It's, it's goodness, Yak. You were just saying something, or you just you just said something that's like that you were thinking. Like it's it, it's not correct, but like it's it's cool. It's fine. You didn't do anything wrong. And you used to go to bed at like eight. Uh, I go to bed at like nine my time. Sometimes I still go to bed at 8. Like, if I'm really tired, I'll, I'll do it, but... Yeah, the idea of getting up at 4 in the morning while 19 sounds like my hell. Eh, yeah, well... That's how I did it, because, um... Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to stream, because I've been fighting... With my brothers over internet, over bandwidth, so... I used to stream it like fucking really early, and I'm glad I don't do that anymore. Still stream at like 7, because that helps me wake up in the morning. You know, I wake up already early as is, and 7's a really good time to get into like a, a schedule with these things, but... Yeah, generally speaking, um... My, my schedule is, is there for a reason. Because I didn't grow up on a farm like you guys did. Um... 
I actually didn't grow up on a farm. I did grow up in a trailer park really early on in my life, but... Oh, refrain from commenting on my sleep schedule. Do you have a really bad one, Murdoch? I'd believe that. Oh boy. You? Actually, I know where you are. You're right, like, right there. We're gonna back off. You used to be trailer trash, I'm just normal white trash? Yeah. Wake up at 10 and start working around noon. Eh. Yeah, I try to be productive all day. From like, 7 to 9. Like, I, I treat content creation and streaming like a regular job. Like, I... Well, actually, maybe I don't, because I don't really take breaks very often. So, I guess I really don't, but like, I'm way more on that shit than you guys might think. I run myself ragged over it. Am I a machine? <sighs> I've been described as such, but no. No, definitely not a machine. I just treat myself like one. I'm going to die at 50 in that case? Good! That's not good. Oh, you think I should try harder? <laughs> like how the person who still calls you doodle like gets your first name? Not necessarily true. A few people still do. Like, uh, I think Tippy still does from time to time. Tippy kind of uh, interchanges between Doodle and Susie, but. Should be finally getting a lobotomy. Eh. Welcome to I'm t fucking depressed. Anyway.
the wanting of lobotomy to writing on Dress Thompson's last works at 24 pipeline. Uh, I'm already past that though. I'm 25, so. Eh. The ultimate way to live is be that construction worker guy from Epithet Erased. I'm old? No, I was supposed to work myself to death. I failed. Yeah. Basically. Better outlive you, I swear to God. Aren't, aren't I older than you as is? Isn't it more likely you're gonna outlive me? I'm pretty sure you were younger than I was. been doing with depression since I was 16 or something mindset, yeah. Mine is undiag- er, my, like, my depressed states are undiagnosed, so I don't know if it's actual depression or if it's just I am just fucked in the head. I think you actually freaked out your Twitch viewers for a second. I probably did. Although, this really shouldn't be surprising. Like, I... I don't do it nearly as much as I used to, but I still am very open about talking about, like... The okay, like, the, the being okay with just, you know, collapsing one day. How long have I known you? Like, five years? Yeah, I've known a lot of people for like five years at this point. Five or six, too. Or five or six years. Yeah, I'm not exactly quiet about my being okay with the concept of dying. Or, or willingness to, otherwise. I'm not exactly quiet about it. So I don't know why any of this would come as a surprise. And yet you wear your seatbelt? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Seatbelt wearing, right. Tug shirt collar. <laughs> right. I think Chesterton had either the best of, the worst response to people who say life is not working. Just pull out either gun and sword to forget which one and say, are you sure? 
Well, that is it. That is the best example. Yeah, that is the, the best thing to, to say. Because then you can see who's really saying it. No, but what what would happen if somebody actually said yes to that offer? I think I see a fortress. Is that a fortress right there? If so, that's really cool. But also, holy shit. How did I find a fortress and a fucking bastion before I found a fucking crimson forest? Or a warped forest? I literally go forward from my portal and I find a bastion. I go to the fucking... Right to my portal and I find a fucking fortress. This is the luckiest unlucky, like, spawn I've ever seen. Or the unluckiest lucky spawn. One of the two. Point is, I'm both really unlucky to have- to, to be in the two biomes that I'm in. But I'm also really lucky in the sense that I- I have, like, resources at my disposal.
You're not allowed in here. You're not allowed in here. Shoot. Go away. Can't even fit in here. Who's adding me on Discord? Oh. Wants to be your friend? No. this guy. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. Need to answer the pressing question. What about the heart you promised Tin Man with the courage you promised the Cowardly Lion? The Wizard of Oz now? Cause I ain't got a brain or a heart to give. Nor do I really have the courage to give it. I really need that new mouse soon. This right click nonsense is getting ridiculous. It's finally August and soon we'll be seeing the September memes again. Ah, uh, yeah, the Earth, Wind, and Fire memes coming back.
can't stop believing. I mean, don't stop believing? What's your beef with just stop uh, believing then? Uh, don't stop believing. Just stop believing. Uh, that's a whole different song. What's, what's your beef with don't stop believing then? Find it really fucking annoying. Is it just overplay or do you like actually hate the song? Alright, later Nazjak. You seem to hate a lot of popular, uh, oh, a lot of popular things in music. Billy Joel, my MST3K, and my 10 other songs and nothing else. That's fair, I guess. Disco Duck? How could you possibly despise Disco Duck? 
When you look back on the Illuminizaki controversies, what do you think about them? And I thought they were stupid at the time, and I still think they're stupid. Shrug. Like, you're complaining about a character with big breasts. That's, that's the controversy. That's the whole controversy. I found it stupid then, and I find it stupid now. Like, why would you complain about characters with big breasts? I can understand maybe not liking the design, but making a controversy around it is stupid. People shouldn't loot Illu. I mean, so be it. I don't really know the character that well. I just remember the Uzaki shit, which was just people being mad that a character had big breasts. And that was it. Is it another? Is that the same fortress back there, or is this a different fortress from that? That might be the same fortress. In which case, that's a really big fortress. Memorize American Pie? Uh, a long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. I used to know a lot more about it, but that's all I can remember nowadays. I remember the Weird Al parody a lot more. And I knew if I had that chance that I could make the people dance and maybe they'd be happy for a while. I don't exactly remember the next line. I remember bits and parts of it. I don't remember the full thing, though. Like, I think it was that that November made me shiver with every paper I deliver. Bad news on every doorstep. I couldn't take one more step. Something like that. Oh. No, that's, that's a little later down the road, Ephraim. I remember that lyric. That, but February made me shiver. There you go. That's, I couldn't remember the month. That's what it was. But February made me shiver With every paper I deliver Bad news on the doorstep I couldn't take one more step I can't remember if I cried the day I read When I read about his widow at bride Something touched me deep inside the day the music died. Something like that. As I said, I remember bits and parts. I have a hard time remembering the full thing. I remember the Weird Al parody a lot more than I remember the original. 
That's some. It was something like that. I know a little bit more past that, but like. I'm gonna just kind of leave it as is. Because I kind of need to focus. Like, that little bit right there that I did is, was very dangerous because I'm like, fucking right over lava. And one wrong step, I could lose a bunch of cobble mostly, but like... That's still... A, a diamond pick as well that I don't want to lose. Pretty good with the tone of slightly off, like not terrible, but just off enough where it bothered me. I, okay, Ephra, I have never once said that I'm good at singing. I'm really not. I, I know damn well that I, I can't hold a tune in a bucket. That's why I learned rap. <laughs> I don't know, Minecraft is here. Oh, hey, Avi. That's good. Uh, kind of chilling, streaming, vibing. That's crazy. I'm dying personally. What is going on? I I'm simply sweaty and gross. I. I've been doing nothing but cardio all day. Mm. And now I'm a sleepy guy. Ephraim is asking, what do you think of American Pie? Not much. I haven't seen it. I just know the twist. So where do you, where are you up to, CT? Exploring the Nether. Crazy. What do I think about Robin so far? Or are you asking Avi? I uh, if it I don't know anything about Robin aside from he is a Teen Titans. You're pro. Okay, that was that was pointed towards you for some reason. I don't uh -oh. know what you. I don't know what that has to do with you, but. Yeah. I don't know. I probably know deep down Didn't in my you heart. Did Robin? Oh. Oh. Yeah, she's great. I like her a lot. I think she's a cool character, um, not at all liking her because she does a lot for me, um, but, uh, yeah, no, she's, she's pretty good. I, like, I keep forgetting her name is Robin, because I only ever really refer to her as Nico Robin, like, the whole name. Oh, are you good? Are you okay, Susie? I just had a bit of a jump scare in Minecraft. Don't worry about Minecraft it. Minecraft jump scare? Minecraft jump scare. Ah. Uh, good Christ.
one day we'll ha I'll have time to to write a video with you, Susie. It's, but that time is not tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, I've got a shit zillion things to take care of tomorrow. That's fine. Look, we've got all the time in the world to write that video. It's not like the police mm -hmm. videos where we have a time limit on that. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we're gonna get moved back in tomorrow. Or uh, Thursday. <laughs> yeah, Susie, I don't know if I told you, um, but, um, B and I are, um, like a lot of the, the, what's it called, the, um, footage is going to be used for the, uh, our co-op. There's just going to be, like, art footage of mm -hmm. B drawing our stands. And, yeah, um... Yeah, you, you told me. Did I tell you that her... That the ability that she may, thought of for her stand is is is, exa is just a nerfed One Piece character? <laughs> uh, you told me something <laughs> like that. It was really upsetting, because I didn't have the heart to be like, uh, that's just Nico Robin. <laughs> I hear the blaze. I don't know how close I am to it, but I hear it. Oh, we were very close. It's like right oh, there, shit. isn't it? Right under your nose, Suzy. Like right out the gate too. Jesus, look at look at that. That's really lucky. I see you, Blaze. I also see you. The hey, movie skeleton. fan is here. Oh. Brown. Ah, oh, God, I'm not prepared for this. Excuse me. I'm glad I have fire prot, but like... I'm still a bit worried. Oh, God, I finally- like Every corner. Oh, fuck. I finally know what it's like to be you, by the way, now. In one way. Um, because I think One Piece is as long as your watch later list. <laughs> Maybe right it's a little shorter. Later. My watch later list right now is like 700 videos, so yeah. Oh, then honestly, actually, I think one your watch later list is longer than One Piece. Because how many of those videos are over an hour? Uh, a few of them. Yeah. I can't believe Susie's created One Piece. Master. Blaster. Blaster. 
Oh man, that was that was a read. Oh man. Damn, they're good. Honestly, after this, I might want to relax and play some Elden Ring. I've been playing Strive a bunch today, and it's been stressing me out. such a hard time blocking shit because I ha my right click is going out on me so like I have to play this with absolute reckless abandon but at the same time being very very careful not to fuck anything up Oh, you, you're firing at me from all the way over there? Jesus. Mm-hmm. I thought I had fire prot four. Where did that go? <laughs> okay, I think I've got the picture. All right. We're heading the other way now. Susie, I'm real excited. This this month of August is gonna be a real month for me. Uh because on the sixteenth, uh Act Two comes out, and then on the twenty fifth, Ellie and Gavin are coming by for their honeymoon. Nice. I am very excited. And tomorrow, there's a Pokemon Direct, which I will be 100% awake for. That's not a joke. I have work at 845. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh no, oh fuck! Uh, getting withered. Really? 
I still haven't picked up a single blaze rod? The sun on a stick. The best weapon in all of Team Fortress. The uh, best a weapon. single blaze Not a single blaze rod yet. Man, Susie. Do you know what the sun on a stick is? Uh, no. It's the best weapon in all of Team Fortress 2. It's, um, it's a, a weapon. It's a, it's a, what's it called? It's a melee for Scout that, um, uh, does less damage normally. Um, but it crits burning players. Ah. On Scout. Oh. <laughs> now do you see why it's the best weapon in the game? Yeah. Uh -oh. Hello, Voidwood Studios. Welcome to the chat. I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh-oh. Okay, what are my buttons? How do I, uh... Okay. So, oh, I can't turn the game off. Uh-oh. I, uh... So, I just got to prove, or I got to, uh, do a little experiment just now, involuntarily. Uh... I cannot play Elden Ring on a fight stick. Oh. Still not a single blaze rod? What is my luck, man? <laughs> there we go. That's one. How many do you need? Like one or two, really. I'm not, I'm not like out here trying to find the the Ender Dragon yet. I just need a few. I've got like three now. I can go ahead and leave. Oh, that's some weird generation. Oh, I don't like that generation. Not in the Nether. Oh, fuck no. Now I just need to find my way back. Um... Well, we hate slideshow commentary. The commentators seldom make history. Uh, I mean... I guess that's true, huh? And I don't know. Hmm. That is three wither skeletons. Jesus. You did not get the reference? I guess not. If there was supposed to be a reference there. quote was well behaved women seldom like make history fair enough and before skeletons learn how to i don't know duck yeah if other skeletons knew how to duck it'd be over for everyone so that's a very common strat to use is just to kind of duck into a like a two by 
whatever. Alright. So now... Uh, now that that's done. Jesus. Alright. Eh, throw the nether brick in there. I don't really. Uh, ores. Throw all gold ingots and our iron ingots and our diamonds in there. Tools. We'll throw our gold stuff in there. Our saddle. Stone. Gold sword. Uh, do do. Can't really throw in the rest of. Throw in the rest of it. I've got more than enough tools and stuff. Maybe I should move the boats to a different area. Uh, mob drops. Blaze rod bone arrow. Uh, another stuff put in the nether war. Ores coal. Um. Have I mentioned yet that my right click is very buggy? If not, uh, let me remind you guys that my right click is very fucking buggy. Ugh. Alright. So now, we've got some jobs to create for villagers. Ah. Uh. So we need a brewing stand, a cauldron, a lectern, a loom, a smithing table, and grindstone. Well... I think we're missing string for that loom. Maybe. Oh, let me check my mob drops. Uh... But we don't have any string. Wow. How's that? How is it we have no string? That's crazy. So we still can't make a loom then. Cauldron we could probably make, we just have to like sit down and... Uh... Smelt our iron. I can now make a brewing stand, but I'm trying to find it on this list. Okay. How do I make a brewing stand? I know I need at least one... Uh... Oh, it's just cobblestone? Oh, okay. Cobblestone in one place, rod. That's like the main thing that we needed it for. That was a brewing stand. stand. Now we go put that in one of these mushroom houses that don't have jobs. That's a barrel. It's the stone cutter. Yeah, okay, so it'd be here. Set down the growing stand. Now there's a job in there. Cauldron, we just need our ores. Um, pretty sure the cauldron.
cauldron is just seven ingots. But I want to double check. Yeah, it's just seven ingots. It's relatively expensive, but like also at the same time, it's just seven ingots. I can get those back. There's another job. I think I might need to increase the amount of food that these villagers have. Or that or move the farm closer, because it doesn't look like the, the farmer villager is coming over here for anything. Oh, well, there's the fletching table. There's the fletching table all the way over here. Man. I forgot that I had my mic muted. Oh. That was crazy, honestly. What, were you trying to say something? Um, no, but I, like, screamed at one point. <laughs> and I was like, wow. Uh. Not even like a like a what, <laughs> and then I was like, oh my my mic is in the position of go. Yeah, yeah, and no, I'm fucking fighting the the madness rats. It's awesome. It's my favorite part of Sheldon Ring, the Big Bang Theory. Do I really only have gold axes? Okay. Why did I choose commentary at the start? Because it looked like fun. I mean, uh, technically I didn't choose commentary at the start. The first thing that I did was like music videos. Really poor quality music videos, but music videos nevertheless. And then I did a lot of other things before I reached commentary. But I did commentary because they looked like fun. I stumbled upon... Uh, actually, technically, I, I, if you want to go really, really technical, I stumbled onto some of DiCaprio's videos, which led me to TOG's channel. I'd watched TOG Professor, and those looked like fun. So I started doing commentaries because of him. So that's why I did commentaries to start. And then... Or like, that's that's why I started doing commentaries in like 2015. So like, four years I was just doing other things. Like I was a Roblox YouTuber. I did reviews. Uh, I had like a lot of different Let's Plays. I uh, was a ranter at one point. Kind of wanted, like, w one of those wannabe, like, um, I guess I must destroy all types. Like, kind of the, the, the TJ Kirks and stuff. Man, I'm glad I didn't stick around there. That, uh, that community was a fucking bonfire. Um, I did countdowns, still do, from time to time. Um... I want to try countdowns again. I'm still working on the new, er, on my next countdown, it's just... taking a bit of time. That's um... Cool. One day we'll do that Everhood video. Hmm. <laughs> but, uh... A lot of a lot of different interests that I popped around into. I did a couple podcasts at, at a couple points too. I did one with uh, with Boone, uh, and then I did one with the Cabbage Patch way way before that, like years before that. I 
guess there was once a point where I was like a YouTuber as well. Outside of the This Is Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, like, before I did commentaries, I think there was a point in time where I could be considered a YouTuber. As I said, I, I have... I have a very... big history of being online. Technically, very, very, very technically, if you want to go back even further, the first videos that I did on YouTube were like animations through Pivot. The, the lore of Suzanne is rich. It's deep. Like, the very, very first videos I did were Pivot animations. If anyone here remembers Pivot. Like, yeah, we- it's like, it, you joke, Avi, but like... It really is. Like, I- I did things way, way back. Hey, Chidi. I kind of wish that the the Sean the Curry fan channel didn't get fucking deep sixed. I kind of wish a lot of those videos stayed up because I much prefer keeping like that archive of of stuff. But uh, that video was hacked onto and then everything was wiped, which sucks. I still have some of the videos like. Some videos I went on went on to post to um, to YouTube through like you know some files I found on my uncle's computer. Um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of the old Sean the Kirby fan stuff is just gone. And I know damn well that there's not an archive of those anywhere, other than the one that I have, uh, the ones that I have already re-uploaded onto my channel. do not last long. Can I write the first authorized biography of you? Man, that would be really hard to do. Like, cause some of the stuff that I, I spent a lot of time on just don't exist anymore. Like, I spent a lot of time on this site called Sodahead. Uh, and Sodahead doesn't exist anymore. Probably for the better. Few embarrassing... Like, a few embarrassingly bad political takes used to dwell on there. Um... But I used, I used to dwell on that side a lot. Um... I used to... Obviously, I, I did a lot of Music Shake. Uh, that account's, I think, still up, despite the fact that Music Shake itself is kind of weird. Currently working on a theme track for a fellow VTuber friend. Sorry for not that responsive. That's fine. Oh no, Doodle, did you used to be Republican? No, but I was, like, heavily anti-SGW, so I was already in that pipeline. Um, very, very heavily anti-SJW. So...
No, yeah, I had a lot of, like, embarrassingly bad political takes growing up. Because I was... What was it? I was 16 and thought I knew everything. <laughs> I think we've all been there at one point. I'm there right now. I'm the smartest guy to ever live. I think anti-SGW would make a small comeback, but be like about creative freedom and mocking censorship and laughing at really strange Twitter takes from people who are obviously homophobic but don't realize it, instead of mindlessly fighting for your right to say the N-word. I mean, yeah. I guess. Saw someone on Twitter saying that women calling themselves gay is homophobic and that needs to be mocked. And wonderful. I hope Mally doesn't mind that I'm, like, raiding her farms. I hope Mally doesn't mind them, um, you know, stealing her crops, poisoning her water supply. I'm literally stealing her crops. <laughs> uh, oh no. She's got a wheat farm, and I am stealing a lot from it, so I can make myself bread. That's awesome. I just fell off a cliff and died, but it was just like, not even a big cliff. I just, it was just a little too tall. They just talk about fucking fall damage before playing Dark Souls. sugarcane farm around here. Is that it? Is that their sugarcane farm? That looks like it, yeah. Alright. Cause I need some paper too. What would happen if Pinocchio said my nose is going to grow? I don't know. He would explode and die. Ooh, a spider. Uh, normally I'd be freaked out by these things, but I need strength. Thank you. Ow. This um. Has... Normally I'd be freaked out by those things, and I still am. However, comma, uh, I need to stick around for that that string. That sweet, sweet resource. Honestly, the more that I think about it, by the way, Avi, the more I don't think you would hate Minecraft's like battle system, like the, the battle mechanics. But I also don't think exciting. you would love them. Yeah, I, I don't think you would love them. You wouldn't hate them, but you wouldn't love them. I think you'd be kind of like. I play a little them. bit of like Minecraft creative mode, and that was kind of it. I have felled this table. Give me my reward, table.
Yeah, Susie, did I ever tell you, or ask ask you the question, is there a Pokemon that you like, that's like clearly based off an inanimate object and you look at it and you just call it that inanimate object? Mm, no. There's a Pokemon called Avalug. I just look at it on my table. You, this is my friend's table. <laughs> I will. O I always name my Avalug table. Fair enough. Because I will never deny him his identity. Oh, it's in the ground. There for a second, I was wondering, like, why is there Nether portal like that? Oh, they got the Crimson Forest! Okay, alright. I'm going back. Oh, I hate it here. I hate it here on God. Okay, I'll have to come back here if I want those shroom lights. Jesus. Hmm. That's a big old frown. It's a frown for me, dog. I foresee myself getting that night shift again this Saturday. Oh wait, no, I can't do that. <gasps> Oh, 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 no, no, not two of them, not two of them, not two of them. <laughs> They're so small. <laughs> uh, greetings, table. Mm. They're so small and so fast. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of, I'm out of axe. Uh, I'm going, I'm going back down. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I forgot. I didn't do this. I literally only walked by with one string. I hate it here. I just wasted that. I was supposed to wait until I stopped uh, sprinting, whatever. Just wasted bread. Literally, I just needed one more string and just, I couldn't even get that from, from the spider.
Walking? Yeah. I'm like 2,000 block or over 2,000 blocks away from Ellie. So, I have to walk a, a ways in order to get to my destination. Mushroom doing a stroll, yeah. In the underground uh, tunnels I dug for myself. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. Turn my computer off. Paper shreds do. Pull the fucking phone. Oh, is this like a mod? Because paper shreds are not like a thing in default Minecraft by the looks of it. So, uh, I think it's because it's part of the mod. Um, now I need to remember how to make a book. Actually, if I make some paper shreds, is that... Ah, yes, it does. It does tell me to check my recipe book. Um, let's, let's see what this recipe book says. Paper scraps. Paper shreds. What could possibly be made with paper shreds? Oh, 
you can just make those in, in crafting. Okay. Okay. Oh, what the fuck can you make with paper shreds? Bro, I don't know. That's definitely a part of the mod, though. Anyway, uh... Delector. There we go. So how do we make one of these things? We got our books. Uh, right, we need a bookshelf. So that's, yeah, okay. So we have the stuff to make it. I do need to grab more from my wood chest, though. Do, do, and then bookshelf. Do not want a button. And then afterwards, it's some slabs. We've probably got slabs. Yeah. And like that, a lectern. That, that farmer villager is not at the fucking thing that he needs to be at. Now we just need a loom, a smoothing table, and grindstone. In the meantime, though, I think I'm going to build a secondary farm because this composter guy is really not doing his job. Um, and I need to find a place to put it so he'll actually fucking use it. Will the second dairy farm be for? Like, probably carrots and potatoes. Because he's not taking the wheat farm. We have the wheat farm. It's over here. But he's he's obviously not taking it. I kind of want this, this village to spread out a bit. They obviously recognize this part as part of the village. Here. Wait? Are you? Are you coming over here? <gasps> he's... He's actually doing his job! Oh, yo! Well, at least he's here. At least he acknowledges this part of the fucking village. That said, I should still make the, the carrot and potato farm. Yo, thank you for the raid, Electric Man. Welcome, raiders. Today we are just mining in some crafting. 
We're trying to uh, build up a village. Um, and that is being a lot more finicky than is probably worth. Need 5,000 Twitch points and then I'll go to bed. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to get that all in one stream. Where's my... be a long day for you tomorrow? Ooh, some, sounds like someone's gonna be busy. Well, good luck with it. Whatever it is you gotta be doing tomorrow. The soul sin and shit that's going into the nether chest. But, uh. Yeah, nether bricks go in there. Cobble goes down this way. Deep slate goes even further down. She has a lot of it. Alright, later, Comic Camp. Here, nether stuff, chuck in the soul sand and the slow sand. Or so soul soil, sorry.
Alright, I still need a loom, a smithing table, and a grindstone. Um, the smithing table I think is also just a bunch of iron. Correct. I think. Is it a block of iron or just... yeah, it's just two ingots. Four wood, two ingots. We can... we can make one of those right now. Loom, we still need another... Uh, Another string too, but what about the grindstone? The grindstone requires smooth stone? Uh, stone slab, which I think we have. It's gonna require some sticks. Let's go find that stone slab. Uh, in the meantime, on our way there though. Um, Alright, later Murdoch. I did make stone slabs, cool. I love how I just don't take fall damage on mycelium. It's great. It's cause I'm a truffle. Alright, there's the grindstone. Um, we'll put that here. Okay, so now we have all but the loom, and as I said, the loom is going to just require string. So I guess we'll go up and wait for the spiders to come out. Oh, there's one. You drop the spider eye, not a... Not a strings. Oh, there's a, like a whole ass cave back here. Hi, Sims Mage.
cave might be... Might be worth something to check out later. Also a cave down here. Which might also lead us to something. some lag. Okay, so there's like nothing here. Trader. Oh! Holy shit, thank you for the raid on Holy Leftovers. Welcome, welcome. Uh. We are just Minecrafting. Currently, kind of waiting for night to occur so I can try to get some, uh, some of that string. It's gonna rage you about my friendship with streaming the end of his Jack 2 stream series, so I raided him instead. Now, that's fine, but that would have been really funny if I had three fucking raids in one night. Would have been fucking crazy. Especially since I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be aware, uh, around for. Like, maybe like another 20 minutes. Before I'm gonna wanna go to bed. You stream Super Metroid? Nice, nice. Spiders down here. Okay. Streaming FF7 Remake Integrate. Nice. Well, hopefully you guys all had fun streams. Hopefully you guys all had nice streams. Uh, I've just been kind of zoning out while I wait for night to occur. <clears throat> kind of looking for spiders. Cause I just, I just need one more string. Literally one more string is, and then I'm done. I'm, I've got everything I need. Oh, a couple Frendermen. Oh, a few Frendermen down there. Hey, buddies. Don't lie, you around. He fought a house for at least 30 minutes? Jesus. Wait, isn't that a secret boss in FF7? Or am I mistaken? I might be mistaken.
Hey, I don't have any room to judge. I haven't played FF7. I have it on Steam and I think I have like two hours into it because of a Steamer stream I did back in the day, but I have not really played it. There's my string. I'm. I've. I've got him. This isn't like the original, but it's very different. Oh, the FF7. Yeah. I haven't played the. I haven't played the original either. So shrug. Just for a few more minutes, and you get five thousand. Ah. Well, I'm not ending the stream yet, so. I just got what I was looking for. Uh, mob drops. Actually, do I have spider eyes in my food chest? I do. There's the loom. So that'll be the first thing there. We got one, two, three, four, five houses. Yeah, five houses with no uh, job. Where are later at from? So next on the agenda, um, hmm, I get, oh, excuse you. What are you doing? I like to work. Um, actually... You can explore that cave a little bit more.
ain't doing that. Try again. Nope. Go away. Alright. Alright. Oh, right. We're gonna head back. Didn't really get a whole lot into exploring this cave. I thought there was gonna be more to it. At least with the way that I was going. It does seem like there is more to it, but like... The route that I went kinda yeah. reached that dead end pretty fast. I probably need to head off to go to bed, so I'm gonna head back here into our little little cubby here. Let's go find someone to raid. Who's, who's all on at this time of night? Ah, the review reviewer. Those dudes with the hat. 
We're gonna grade him. Later guys, I'll see you in the morning.